how we built this snow diorama right here. It's the balcony house, the ski lodge up at Winter Park. Been there since 1955. AJ and I scratch printed it. This is our model railroad scale model structure build series. We're glad you're here. Stick around. By 1940, the upper part of Bertha Pass had recently been developed as a ski area, but narrow and winding mountain roads make access difficult. Ski enthusiasts looked for a possible location. Where can we put a ski resort? And the answer was pretty obvious. It was West Portal. West Portal was where the Moffat Tunnel Railroad emerged. Winter Park Ski Resort quickly appeared at the tunnel entrance. We had something that no other ski resort had, which is access to a rail line that dropped passengers right here at the base. Skiers able to easily hike from Denver on the train, Winter Park Ski Resort grew rapidly. The founders of the resort needed a suitable base camp to provide skier services, and in 1955, they built the Balcony House. Winter Park's original base area ski lodge, known as the Balcony House, vividly represents the early history and pioneering evolution of the city of Denver's first mountain park. The two-story Balcony House with its panoramic views from cascading balconies is a unique example of mid-century modern architecture. Since 1955, the Balcony House has played an essential role in skiing, snowboarding, and summer activities, and enhancing the overall experience of visitors, including skiers and non-skiers. Come on in and join us now and watch how AJ and I scratch printed. Home of the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. AJ and I are glad you are here. We have done it again. We have built another model. This is the Winter Park Balcony House. AJ and I had a ton of fun making this model and these videos. It's a two-part series. We hope you enjoy.
All right, so rather than reprinting all the bases, I reprinted the faces. And so I got them on now, front and back. So all the faces are rock now. I'm gonna get my shadow in there. And it's where it is going to actually sit. The footprint is right. I'm getting ready to drill some holes and whatnot. So I can begin running power in there. Everything's printed. But the roofing and that's what it's all gonna look like. Dang, I can't get it. here. Is a print on the big main building roof, building to the roof. It's a long print, eight and a half hours for three, uh, four millimeters high. All right, so what we did is we drilled some holes in here and we carried the model in the diorama base over here where we can do some time-lapse photos from there and in general just work on the model in an easier capacity. I've got windows drying there. Most of my supplies are over here. And we're gonna jump up here and do a time lapse and show you me putting this model together. Everything's printed with the exception of the roofs on these uh, buildings on the far right, but all the walls and bases and everything are done. Maybe some doors, some roofs. I've got some um, wooden uh, walkways up there. I got some stairs I've got to print and uh, stuff like that but just odds and ends and we're going to show you how we do all that right here and now Hey, AJ and I want to say thank you and that we appreciate you for watching part one. We hope you'll smash that like button, the thumbs up if you feel that way. We we'll hope you subscribe if you have not already. Share this with your other model and friends. And don't forget to smash that bell down there because in three or four days, part two is going to be coming out and it is not one to miss. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching today. Take care.